All right, so we're looking at number one here on uh, this worksheet, and it's the directions say reflection across y equals negative two. So we've done examples of reflecting over the x-axis and the y-axis, which are easy to find, but y equals negative two. So this line exists not on one of the axes, but somewhere on the graph. Here's the way I like to think about it. So it says that y is equal to negative two. So I know that it has to cross y equals negative 2. So I'm going to put a dot on y equals negative 2. I know it has to cross there. But here's the thing with that line. If it, y only equals negative 2, y can't be any other number. y can't equal negative 3. y can't equal negative 4. y can't equal 7. Because y equals negative 2. So no matter what x is, x could be any number. x could equal 7. x can equal 5. But y will always be negative 2. So when I make my line, my line can only go across y equals negative 2. So that's why I'm putting my mirror right there. So my mirror can only happen, at, it can only touch y equals negative 2. So that's where my mirror goes. Now we know where our mirror is. We go to each point and count how many units it takes to get to the mirror. And then we count that many spaces past the mirror to put the next point. So... Notice point I. Look at point I there at the top left. It's on the mirror. So if my point is on the mirror, I don't need to move it. It stays right where it is. Done. So now we move to another point. Let's go to point E. So from point E to the mirror, it takes one unit. So I go one unit above the mirror, and that's where E prime will go. Okay, let's go to X down here towards the bottom. X takes one, two, three units to get to the mirror. So I go one, two, three units above the mirror, and that becomes X prime. Now Q, Q takes two units to get to the mirror. So two units above, and that's Q prime. So here is my new shape. So notice the same shape, same size. It's just the opposite because it's reflected over the mirror.